about an hour and a half, two hours east of downtown Los Angeles, Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino. That's where we are tonight for another edition of Golden Boy Promotions. Exciting fights coming your way from the Coachella Valley. Inside the Special Event Center at the Fancy Springs Resort and Casino, first fight coming your way, feather, super featherweight division from the District Washington, D.C.'s own undefeated fighter, Lamont Roach Jr. takes on veteran Mexican Alex Valdez. Eight rounds, that's with the WBC youth belt on the line. And then after that, 18-year-old Luis Cordia, he's still in high school, packs a big punch, 2-0 with two KOs. Takes on rugged Mexican head out of the Molina. Four rounds in the featherweight division. And that's all working towards the main event tonight on HBO. WBC belt on the line. El Bandido Francisco Vargas takes on fellow Mexican Miguel Burchelt, who has only got one loss on his record, and he's coming for the upset. That's the main event in Indio, California. Alongside the editor of RingTV.com and one of the best boxing scribes out there, Doug Fisher, I'm Bethel Duran. Thank you for joining us this afternoon or evening, wherever you might be watching, whether you're in the district, whether you're in L.A., whether you're driving around Southern California, fighters are getting ready to make their way. We've already had two Golden Boy fighters with impressive knockouts. Cesar Diaz from Palmdale, California. He is now 4-0 with four KOs. He got a second-round stoppage over veteran Joel Cano. And then from Prairie, Grand Prairie, Texas, outside of Dallas, Virgil Ortiz Jr. He's 18. He also improved to 4-0 with four KOs in a first round big knockout over Israel Villa, the Mexican from Mexico City. And two Golden Boy fighters out of Joel Diaz's camp looking good early on. And this will be a night, Doug, where Vargas and Burchill is going to be the main event, and that's going to be some fireworks. Yeah, and I can't wait for that. You know, as a boxing writer, you always want to be present for great fights, for the kind of fights that people are talking about years later, even decades later. I, I take a lot of pr pride at being ringside for all three fights between uh, Eric Morales and Marco Antonio Barrera. All three? Yeah, or being wow. there for the first fight between Diego Corrales and Jose Luis Castillo. And, of course, Vargas is the kind of fighter who makes for those type of fights. His last two fights were hands down fight of the year. And these are the kind of fights. His, his war with Takashi Miura, who's in tonight's yep. co-feature against Mickey Roman, and against Orlando Salido, who I'm told is here tonight. Uh, these are the kind of fights that people don't just talk about the year they happen. They talk about them for years to come. Vargas, Burchill, the main event, the co-feature from Japan, Takashi Miura and Mexican Mickey Roma making his way into the ring right now is Alex Valdez. Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico is where he's from. Valdez 26, 8, and 2. It'd be a good test for young Lamont Roach Jr. at a team, no excuse, gym in Washington, D.C. Look at some of the highlights as they're making their way into the ring. And these are going to be highlights of a Lamont Roach Jr. He was a terrific amateur standout out of the D.C. area, D.C. Maryland area, and you can see why. He's got speed, fluidity, technique, and as he advances in his pro career, he's sitting down more on his punches. I think for this fight against Mario, he, uh, for the first time, utilized a strength and conditioning coach to increase his, his physical durability and his punching power, and it paid off. Lamont Roach Jr., Making his way into the ring. That was the Belasco Theater in Los Angeles. Going across the country that you see him with his dad and uncle in his corner. No excuse, Jim, in Washington, D.C. Go and check it out. That's a popping gym. Also has uh, Demetrius Ballard, Big Meech, a super middleweight in the Golden Boy stable. Also, Rivers Jr. out there. So send us your tweets. I'm Duran Sports. Dougie is Dougie Fisher, IE. Doug's mailbag every Friday and a Monday. Thanks for you're watching whether you're just leaving the gym in downtown LA or as Vice President Golden Boy Monica Sears is watching right now. We're led by Will Wright and David Tatro. Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC President Mauricio Suleiman and representative in attendance Lee Peters. 
The three judges scoring at ringside of the 10-point must system, Rudy Baragar, Sergio Caiz, and Fernando Villarreal. When the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Eddie Hernandez. And here we go, fight fans, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red trunks, he weighed in officially 132 and one half pounds. This veteran has 26 victories, including 20 knockouts, eight defeats, and two draws. Desde la Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico, presentando Alex Valdez. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing tonight red, trimmed in black and silver, he weighed in officially 130 pounds even. His record stands perfect in 12 bouts, 12 victories. No defeats, four wins coming by way of knockout, hailing from our nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Here is the undefeated Lamar Roach Jr. Eddie Hernandez, the third man in the ring. We're ready to go. Eight rounds to the vacant WBC Youth Self Super Featherweight title on the line. Lamont Rowe Jr., look, look at him, Dougie. Yeah, obviously the, the glaring statistic here, the tail of the tape, is the age at age 21. Lamont Rowe Jr., definitely the younger fighter. Ironically, though, the man, his opponent, uh, Alex Valdez, he began his career in the lighter weight classes, um, as light as Bantamweight, where he was actually world class. He's the taller fighter tonight. Lamar Rowe Jr., orthodox fighter, black with the white trim around him. Valdez, the Mexican, southpaw, he's got the blue gloves. Said he's found some tape of Roach, thanks to go to the Ring TV's YouTube channel. <laughs> so if you want to see some of the past footage of these fighters, the up and coming Golden Boy fighters, go to the Golden Boy YouTube page. Not only are we providing it for the fans, Providing for the opponents. <laughs> Good uppercut landing by Roach. Uh, he can study Roach all he likes. Um, he's going to have a hard time with the younger man's speed and sharp technique. Valdez obviously brings the experience, as I said, at Bantamweight. That's 118 pounds. He was world class. He was a, a top Bantamweight fighter start at the start of 2006 through 2009, and he faced the best fighters that resided in that division at the time. Good uppercut by Roach, drops Valdez here in the first round. Lamont Roach Jr. showing some pop here to open up his bout. Knock on him has been a start slow. He picks up his spot. A little power here in the opening round against Valdez. And Valdez is standing straight up and he's very slow, so he's not a hard target for, for Roach to find. Oh, another body shot drops him here. And I don't know if Valdez is going to get up from that one. That one stuck and hurt, and it is over. A first-round KO for Lamont Roach Jr. No excuse, Jim in Washington, D.C. They're fired up. A lot of family made the trip across the country. This is a kid that you have to keep an eye on. He's not a big promoter on social media about him. He's not bragging things. Really soft-spoken, but there you see with his dad. But the dude gets the job done. Really nice out here for Lamar Roach Jr. Yeah, but for the longest time, he got the job done by thoroughly outboxing and outpointing his opponents. But starting with his last fight, that third round knockout of Mario Macias, he got a taste of what it feels like to get a knockout on national television or on, on an international stream like on ringtv.com. And obviously, he likes it. Oh, and they're loving it back home in Washington, D.C. A fighting family. His dad is his trainer. Uncle is also the trainer. Uncle with a... No, there you see the body shot. Look at this, Doug. There's a right uppercut. Roach slipping punches, landing the right. That, that produced the first knockdown, and Valdez got up. He's been knocked down before. He always gets up and fights hard. And then it was a right to the solar plexus. That body shot put Valdez down for the count, and Valdez has never been wiped out like this. The only no. time he's been blown out was against Hozumi Hasegawa, uh, a stellar Bantamweight champion from Mexico who was the top Bantamweight at the time. And that was at Bantamweight, and he's never been blown out like that since. 
No excuse gym. They're going crazy back in D.C. Five pros in that gym. And you know who else fired up? His younger brother, Jordan, 13 years old. He's actually going to the National Silver Gloves in April. Sister Taylor, Tia, his mom, all loving it. Uh, he recently did Lamar Rose Jr. see one of his friends, Gervonta Davis, win a belt. He said that fired him up because he knows Davis from the amateurs. Referee Eddie Hernandez calls a halt to this bout. We have your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated. And now the new WBC youth, silver super featherweight champion, Lamont Rhodes Jr. The stop it for Lamont Rhodes Jr. He's now 13 and 0. Oh, keep those tweets coming. Congratulations. And saludos a toda la gente que nos está mirando en Tamazula, Guadalajara, Jalisco, WBC Mexico, la familia Mendez. Also Nick Mendez, the pride of Notre Dame World High School in the Valley. Just saw Lamont, Lamont Rhodes Jr. Rhodes look Jr. good here in the opening round. Hey, hey. Right, we got a post for the social media. He is the truth, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you open up the year, huh? With the first round KO yeah. in front of Eric Gomez, President of the in front of HBO Lamar. Brass. Yeah, and even though this guy was older Tremendous and was coming up in weight, he was somebody who had been in with top-notch fighters like Fernando Montiel, and he gave him trouble. Or Neomar Semeno, who's a major belt holder at featherweight right now. This guy, Valdez, he went 11 rounds in a competitive fight against Cermeno. Um, so this is, it's a, a, it's a great confidence booster for a 21-year-old prospect like Lamont Roche Jr. to just blast him out for the fight to be no contest whatsoever. Because I do believe that the matchmakers expected Valdez with his experience and being a southpaw, and being tall and rangy, taller and rangier than Roach even, they expected Valdez to take him some rounds, show him some looks. It didn't happen. And a shout out to everybody that's watching from USC, Vanessa Rivera, USC alumni, of course. The Sears family, Monica, loves USC. Couple more at USC, Edgar Navarro. USC people love watching Ring TV live. And because Lamont Rowe Jr. actually attended University of Maryland for one year, was a mechanical engineering major, and realized that when you're trying to train to be a elite pro athlete, you have to choose. And going to math classes? Nah, I'd rather go run than go to math classes. Either, you have to either dedicate yourself to college or you have to dedicate yourself to uh, the sweet science. And um, he is a, a sweet practitioner in there. Um, what I'd like to see from Roach, and I don't know if he's ready for it just yet, but maybe within the next two or three fights, I'd like to see him in with a similar opponent as Alejandro Valdez, but only somebody who's a natural junior lightweight, not somebody coming up from Bantamweight or junior featherweight, somebody who is a veteran in the same vein as Valdez, only he is a full-bodied junior lightweight, or even a lightweight. There you see, father, actually that's his uncle, firefighter. Yeah, Bernard Roach. Bernard Roach. Yeah, and he's a he's a stern taskmaster oh, at yeah. the gym and they have high they have high expectations for him. They they really want him to, to shine every time he steps into that ring. And I and you know, we've called some fights with, yep. with Roach, but we thought he looked great. And Roach is going back to the corner and his dad and Bernard are getting on his case and I don't understand it. But they know they know what his potential is. They must see something in the gym that tells them that he can be explosive in the squared circle every time the you know he's under the big lights. Yo, know, Lamont has fought in Las Vegas with the distance. They didn't really happy about it. Fought in DC on the other cards with the distance. They liked the result, but they wanted the pop, incorporating the strength and conditioning coach. Also, he's now 21, getting a little bit stronger. You see some thickness on his back. Yeah, that's true. And there you go. There you go. So everybody at New York, no excuse, Jim. Congratulations to you guys. Jim is fired up. Dimitri Ballard, I know you're watching. That means your, your time is coming, too. Our main event tonight, Francisco Vargas against fellow Mexican Miguel Burchelt. And that'll be a good one as Vargas all over Mexico. He's a star down there, former Olympian. And he sat down with the Ring TV Live cameras.